North Carolina is standing tall and changing its high schools, and we're proud of that. Leaders at every level have made us a leader in school innovation. As a result, more students are graduating ready for college, for work, and for a promising future. But we can't rest on the progress of the past few years. As the economy changes before our eyes, now is the time to be bold. The North Carolina New Schools Project partners with government, business, and communities to create new approaches to education designed to challenge and support each student and to foster excellence among teachers. I'm pleased to join the New Schools Project in providing you with a look ahead to underscore our progress and to chart the next leg of our journey. Now, just since 2004, North Carolina has created more than 100 innovative new high schools. Those schools range from early colleges, schools that enroll students that with extra support can be the first in their family to earn a college diploma, to innovative schools on existing high school campuses. Teachers and administrators in these schools and their students have already chalked up some impressive results. For example, almost half of new schools had no dropouts last year. More students in these schools succeed in Algebra II, a milestone course for future success than in traditional high schools. More teachers report greater satisfaction in these new schools. All of us are proud of these gains, but it's only a beginning. We must follow the first wave of school change with even stronger goals and even better results. First, to help secure North Carolina's future as a home of high-skill, high-wage jobs, new schools will deepen its ties to economic development. Economic developers, leaders in higher education and business, will be called upon to imagine and to help create schools that prepare students to compete with the best in the world. Governor Purdue, Lieutenant Governor Dalton, and the General Assembly have set a high bar for our state's progress in this area. The climate is right for a renewed commitment by government, business, and education to collaborate in new ways so that every community can define how well-prepared graduates will aid economic development and quality of life. Second, just as technology is central to a world increasingly driven by creativity and innovation, Technology must be a central part of education. New schools will build upon its ties with business and higher education so that many more schools make learning real and engaging with computers and other devices. North Carolina's success with providing a broadband connection to every school means learning has no limits, not even geography or the walls of the classroom. Now laptops can replace textbooks so that a child's vision includes the entire world. Embracing technology will be a part of New School's commitment to accelerate the focus on science, mathematics, and engineering. These STEM-focused schools will be developed in networks across the state so that the State Board of Education, the Department of Public Instruction, colleges and universities, and other key leaders can collaborate with a stronger definition of excellence and a real shared purpose. That shared purpose means that with STEM education, North Carolina will unleash talent in every corner of our state. Successful STEM education in our secondary schools will help North Carolina respond effectively to global challenges like green energy, transportation, health care, and the ethical uses of science and technology. Finally, in recent years, North Carolina has led in the creation of early college high schools and other approaches to blend high school and college to accelerate student progress, especially for those who are most likely to drop out before graduation. New schools on existing high school campuses have also built stronger ties with colleges and universities. As a result, more students are securing college credit before high school graduation, 
and these students will be more likely to complete two and four year degrees. With leadership from the North Carolina Education Cabinet, our public and private colleges and universities, and from the Governor, Lieutenant Governor and General Assembly, the New Schools Project will seek to support local communities to reinvent secondary education. Now these are bold priorities, and that's why I'm so proud to speak on behalf of the North Carolina New Schools Project, an organization that seeks to serve our state and so many partners in creating a new future for our children and for our economy. We must let no barrier, no excuse, stand in the way of how we work together toward our common purpose. Every child must graduate, and every child must be prepared for college, work, and for a life marked by change and opportunity. Thank you.